Welcome to Joe Bob's channel. I'm Joe Bob. I found my beanie. <sighs> I think today I'm going to do a discussion topic, you know. Just give me one second. Just, yeah, one. Okay, I'm back with my awesomeness beanie back on. I think I need to start this video over. No, I don't. Okay, anyways. Um, I burned my hand. It's painful. But, it's okay. Okay, what I'm going to talk about today is stereotypes, and it gets really annoying at school because, like, we're not allowed to wear hats in school. Like, if I go to school, I walk in through the door, take my hat off, straighten my hair, because everybody knows my hair's really crappy in the morning, so it goes like that. But, no, I put on my hat and everything, get on the bus, fall asleep, get to the school, take it off and all that. But... Before this year, I'd wear my beanie, and my dad's. Uh, yeah, it, most people would say that I look kind of like a drug dealer or a gangster or something. I don't see that. I wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> no, but it gets really annoying. Teachers, they stereotype a lot, too. And some teachers, you know, they're. They just like one type of person more than other types of people. Like, I have one teacher that likes girls more than guys. Gosh, that hurts! And just... Some teachers like athletes more than people who don't play sports, and it just gets annoying, and then... Nah. A lot of the teachers at my school also stereotype teenagers into being druggies or drug dealers. If you're wondering what that is behind me, that is my dog. But it just gets so annoying, and it just, uh, it's annoying, guys. But, yeah, it's different. I also got another discussion topic idea from a kid at my school. He said what I should do is talk about zombies. He just randomly blurted it out. Well, in my awesome book, it does talk about zombies, right? Oh, I gotta find it now. Give me a sec. Nom, 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 nom. It's in the pink somewhere. Here it is. Zombie stuff. And you might be asking why there's a puffer fish on there. It says there's a plant. That plant. And it's toxic. It says, you might be wondering blah, 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 why there's a picture of a plant and uh, uh, turn the page to find out. Anyways, and right here it says, right up here in the 1980 blah 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 stuff like that, 1962, it says, a man by the name of Clarvis Narcisse, something like that, I don't know how, how to pronounce those names, is declared dead by Albert Switchizer hospital on the island of Haiti. Oh, that's why. His family attends his funeral and says goodbye. That was in 1962. Next one's in 1980. It says, on a Sunday, on a sunny spring day, a desperate individual appears to be the late Mr. Narcissus appears in the late Mr. Narcissus' hometown. He looks like Mr. Narcisse, he acts like Mr. Narcisse, and strangest of all, he claims to be Mr. Narcisse. And what they're saying is that this guy was poisoned by this weird poison that makes you look and like your heart gets really slow so they can't tell if you're dead or not. So they bury you alive. And what was, hap what was going on is that this, oh crap, this guy would poison you He'd have all the people bury you, and then later he'd go and dig up your body and use you as a slave on a plantation or something. Which was kind of weird and interesting at the same time, seeing as how is somewhat zombie-ish. So yeah. Also, if you look in Black Ops Zombies, you have Nazi zombies. I don't even know what to think about that. And I do like playing zombie games. I like to shoot zombies because mainly they can't shoot back. But they do come in lots and lots of people. But yeah. Um. Oh man. I gotta think of it. No, I'm not gonna say that. Give me a second. I'm back. I had to go find something. I got this. It's um. 
I have no idea what it is. It says it's a Stratosphere thing. And it's really cool. It's a little airplane powered by rubber band. And what you do is you spin it and spin it. And I had the, I got the rubber band, I tied it, and I ended up going four times around these two little loops. I don't know if you can see right there. And right there. And that's what hooks it on. And this hook goes to the propeller, so when you spin it, it spins the rubber band. And all this good stuff happens. Anyways, I got this from my awesome bus driver. And every year she gives us, it's not like a really expensive present or anything. It's usually little wooden puzzles or just something real cheap but kind of cool at the same time. And this year she gave me one of these. And I thought it was pretty cool. I told her thank you. And she's like, oh, well, I know it's kind of young for you and all. But you'll at least get five minutes of interest out of it. This is the coolest thing I've seen in like five years. <laughs> Except for YouTube. YouTube is just there always with weird and cool things like lasers from wickedlasers.com. If you look at that, they got laser sabers and stuff like that. Okay, we got the rubber band tied. Good. Let's hope I don't hit my camera. If I do, I will be very, very mad and be losing my camera. Ready? Oh, it landed in my chest skin. Oh, that was too cool. Um, so, yeah. How much time do I got? Oh, I've only been here for six minutes. Yeah! Improve my time. Um, does anybody know how to fix a burn really, really fast? Because it's painful. Give me a second. So yeah, I will talk about zombies. I'll talk about just about anything as long as it is appropriate for YouTube and people under 18 because I really don't have to rate this video and make it to where you have to confirm all this junk and have to make a YouTube account just to watch the video and stuff like that because that's just, it makes me so mad when they do that. And it'll even be a video just about, like, there's this one, is I was really interested in magic and stuff and I searched it and it's wizards, a real wizard battle, and it turns out it's just fireworks or something, but it's so retarded, it's like confirm that you're 18. So I poke it and that's when I made my YouTube account, but it's only just so I could watch the video. Oh, I was retarded. I got my thing back though. Yeah, so. Yeah. Oh! Also, I have to introduce you to one guy. This is my dragon. I bought him in a town, or in a mall. I don't know what he's made out of, but he can melt, and I did not know that, and I accidentally set him on fire, and his wing melted a little bit, if you can see it. But, if you have any discussion topics or anything that you want me to talk about, I will talk about them. Trust me, it's anything appropriate though, because, yeah. I don't want to lose any viewers because of the 18 confirm your age crap. Okay, um, one of my friends that is really awesome of an artist wanted me to describe the sh the character Sharpie that I said in my creepy pasta video wherever you want to see it just go to my channel or whatever and it was Sharpie was this kid he got really mad and ended up going insane and he'd cut the back skin off of people and draw or write a description of what he did to them on the back skin okay Sharpie wears a mask and he changes the mask, so I guess just draw it however you want. How much time do I got? Okay, it's hard to see it. It's white on a white wall. White. There we go. But yeah, it's he wears that, and he wears a black hoodie with, um, I guess just black boots. He, he's trying to be really stealthy, that's why. But yeah, I'm, I'm too occupied with this. It's too awesome. Um. I'd highly recommend you buying one of these. It's too cool. My friend, my other friend Ryan that let me borrow the Nintendo, as you've seen in my Super Mario Brothers videos, he said that I need to make my videos longer, so that's what I did. But, have a good day, and I do recommend you buying one of these. Went into my closet. Okay. This has been Joe Bob's channel. I am Joe Bob, and see you next video.